take a peek. Let's make our groundhog peek its head out to see what's going on. Open the actor groundhog. Add a game level boolean attribute and name it pop up. Set the value of pop up to true. Add a rule behavior and rename it rule up. Remove the default touch condition and add an attribute comparison condition. Set the attribute to check to game, pop up, and set the value to true. Inside the then block of the rule, add an interpolate behavior. Set up the parameters to attribute, self position, y, final value of 556. Inside the else block of the rule, add a change attribute behavior. Set up the parameters to attribute, self position, y, 2. 334. Preview time. Now when we hit preview, we'll see the groundhog pop up. But that shadow shouldn't be there all the time, so let's fix that. Open the actor. Shadow. Add a rule behavior and rename it rule show hide. Remove the default touch condition and add an attribute comparison condition. Set the attribute to check to game, pop up, and set the value to true. Add a string comparison condition. On the left hand side, enter the expression table cell value, tables.groundhog data, game.groundhog index 5. On the right-hand side of the expression, enter 1. This checks the Groundhog Data Tables column 5 to see if they have predicted a longer winter or not. Now we'll have the shadow appear two seconds after the Groundhog pops up to create some suspense. Add a timer behavior inside the then block of the rule and rename it Timer Delay Shadow. Set the timer parameters to after two seconds. Add an interpolate behavior inside the timer's do block. Set the behavior parameters to attribute self.color.alpha. Final value. 1. Next, we'll set up another timer to hide the shadow when the groundhog drops back down from the long winter. Add a timer behavior below, timer delay shadow and rename it Timer Hide Shadow. Set the timer parameters to after 3.2 seconds. Add an interpolate behavior inside the timer's do block. Set the behavior parameter to Attribute Self.Color Alpha Final Value 0. Finally, we'll want to hide the shadow if no long winter is predicted. In the else block of rule show hide, add a change attribute action. Set the behavior parameters to attribute self.color alpha to zero. Before we preview, there's some more to do. Above, we mentioned having the groundhog hide when it sees its shadow. Open the actor groundhog. Add a rule and rename it rule hide. Remove the default touch condition and add an attribute comparison condition. Set the attribute to check to game, pop up, and set the value to true. Add a string comparison condition. On the left hand side, enter the expression table cell value, tables, the groundhog data, game, groundhog index, column 5. On the right-hand side of the expression enter, 1. Inside the then block of this rule, add a timer behavior. Set the timer parameters to after 3 seconds. 
Inside the timer's do block, add an interpolate behavior. Set up the parameters to attribute self.position.y. Final value 334 over a duration of 0.3 seconds. Now wait, don't preview yet. We have one more thing to do. Now our groundhog and shadow depend on data being in the groundhog data table. We should wait until that data is ready before we do anything. Open the actor loader. Add a rule and rename it rule, alert the groundhog. Remove the default touch condition and add an attribute condition. Set the attribute to check as follows. Attribute, game, load status, comparator, equals, value, one. Inside the then block of the rule, add a change attribute action. Set up the behavior parameters as follows. Attribute, game, pop-up, value, true. Uncheck, game, pop-up, to change its default value to false. Finally, it's preview time. After the data loads, we see the groundhog pop up to take a look around. If the data tells us the groundhog saw its shadow, the groundhog's shadow appears and it quickly hides, indicating another six weeks of winter.